What's up, Ranger Nation? It's your boy, Jerome, and I am coming to you today with Ranger Talk number seven. So, before, so I think, you know what? We're just going to go ahead and jump right into it because this has been a great week for Power Rangers. So, like I said, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so I follow Power Rangers now, and he puts up a lot of new information. That's where I get all my news from. I do get my news from other places, but Power Rangers now is one place that I get my Ranger news. So we all know that tomorrow is going to be um, the New York uh, Toy Fair in New York. So, you know, we've got a lot of stuff happening this week. So the first thing that I want to talk about is Power Rangers Live. So Hasbro has announced that they would be doing a live tour in 2019, which is this year, which I don't know when they're going to do it because we still have Power Morphicon Express, which is coming up in April, which I still need to get my tickets for Power Morphicon Express. So not much has really been said about um, Power Rangers Live. I'm wondering if Power Rangers Live is going to be kind of like what they used to do back in the 90s when um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers first started, how the Rangers went on tour, you know, you had them in their Ranger suits and... If you guys, if anybody, um, you can see some of the clips of it on, um, it was the Green with Evil uh, series, um, like on Green with Evil uh, Part Five, Breaking the Spell. I have that VHS tape to this day, um, and you know it just does. It shows interviews from the cast. So, and I never, really, I never even really got to see that stuff. But I'm wondering if it's gonna be something like that where. Because like I said, there's not much that's been said. So I don't know if it's going to be like the current cast, if it's just going to be Beast Morphers cast, or if it's going to be the entire Power Rangers, you know, universe of Rangers, like from Mighty Morphin, uh, Alien Rangers, Zeo, Turbo, Space, Lost Galaxy, Lightspeed Rescue, Time Force, Wild Force, Ninja Storm, Dino Thunder, SPD, Mystic Force, Operation Overdrive, Jungle Fury, RPM, Samurai, Mega Force, Dino Charge, Ninja Steel and Beast Morphers. So I don't know if they'll include those Rangers or if, I'll, or if they'll just primarily deal with the Beast Morphers Rangers and go year by year with cast by cast. Don't know. Like I said, not much has been revealed about that. But once I know more information about it, I will come back on the, on to the camera and let you guys know what's what. All right, and then next, um, this is Ryu Soldier stuff, isn't? I, not a lot happened with Ryu Soldier this week. The only thing with Ryu Soldier that I saw was they did the roll call for Ryu Soldier, which I thought was pretty cool. I love those swords that the Ryu Soldiers have, and I love their morphers. Like I said in last week's video, I am so excited to be able to talk, watch Ryu Soldier, talk about Ryu Soldier. I'm thinking about watching um, Super Sentai's Strongest Battle. I, I know it's a four week thing, four week affair, so I think I'm gonna watch it. I have a link. To where I can watch, you know, Super Sentai stuff. So I'm probably I'm gonna watch it. I don't know if I'm gonna talk about it on camera. I may or not may not. It just depends on how I feel. Um. So like I said, this week we got the roll call for the um the Ryu soldiers. Um. And in that that fifth that um that uh, trailer we got last week for Ryu soldier, um, they did show the English. You know, they did show the English subtitles this week where it was released. And they showed the character's name. I'm going to be honest with you guys. The only person's name who I know was Asnus. That's the only person's name I know. I can't pronounce anybody else's name. So if you guys want to let me know how to pronounce everybody else's name besides Asnus. Because like I said, she's the only one whose name I can pronounce. So like, let me know how to pronounce the other people's name. Help, help a brother out. Because I don't want to get on camera when it comes to Reed Soldier and I can't pronounce their names. I want to be able to pronounce everybody's names including Asnus, you know. So, just help me out, please. All right, so we're gonna get into a little bit of toy news. So, this week, um, like I said, we're getting ready for the Toy Fair in New York to happen tomorrow, which is Saturday. And, you know, if we get the trailer tomorrow, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, but if we get the trailer for Beast Morphers tomorrow, I will come back on camera and I'll give my, um, initial reaction to the trailer so we found out that as part of hasbro's play school heroes they were released to red dragon thunderzord which was piloted by both rocky and jason 
in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers season two. Um, it will be a it will be 14 inches tall. It's packed with lights, sounds, projectiles, and animated wings. And all of this can be activated through the Dragon Thunder Zord's tail, which is pretty cool. And you know, I was looking at that. I'm like, man, I'm not a little kid anymore, but I would actually love to buy that. So it's also scheduled for a fall release, much like um, you know, the uh Wild First Megazord is. And this one retails a little bit cheaper than what Wild First Megazord does. It retails at $30. And we got a little bit more information about the Lightning Collection. The Lightning Collection looks super cool. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna like Hasbro a lot more than I did when we were with Bandai. Because you know, with Bandai action figures, the Rangers were bulked, they were so bulked up, like the dudes, guys' chests were so bulked up and their arms were so huge, kind of unrealistic. And now with the Lightning Collection with Hasbro, the Ranger toys, they look similar to the um, the suits that we used to see on, on the show. So in the Lightning Collection, um, we will be getting um, Tommy Oliver as the White Ranger. We will be getting Doggy Kruger as Shadow Ranger. We will be getting Tyler Navarro as the Red Dino Charge Ranger. And we will also be getting a Lord Zed figure oh my god like i don't know who i want like i think i'm gonna get all three i think i'm gonna get all four of them the ones that i'm mostly interested in i have to be honest i have to have that lord zed figure oh my god that lord zed that lord zed figure is everything i want the white ranger i kind of want I, I know i want i i'm on the fence when it comes to doggy kruger and when it comes to um who else is it tyler you know something, I, I don't know if I said this last week or if I was watching an episode of Power Rangers SPD and I was just look. oh no, I was looking, so um, whoever runs the Power Rangers YouTube channel, they've been putting up the morphs of each season. Um, speaking of which, uh, we just had, yesterday was the 15 year anniversary of Power Rangers Dino Charge, not Dino Charge, Dino Thunder. That's correct, right? Dino Thunder? Yeah. Dino Thunder, because it premiered on Valentine's Day in 2004, which was a Saturday. Um, so yeah, I was on, so yeah, back to what I was talking about, I got sidetracked. So, Doggy Kruger, I used to always look and be like, how? When Doggy Kruger morphed, what happened to his nose? Did his noses get squished into the, into the helmet or what? Or was there like an a open, a big space in the nose, in the mask that we couldn't see where his nose just fit? I just want to know okay so um each of the lightning collections they will um, retail at a price of $19.99 which that's really affordable um like i said i want lord zed i know for a fact i got to have my lord zed and i want tommy um and there are so there also are some rumors of more rangers added to the lightning collection i know they talked about the magna defender the red and gold beast morphers rangers and the mighty morphin pink ranger which i don't consider catherine a mighty morphin pink ranger i consider kimberly the only mighty morphin pink ranger i know catherine came in and took her place but i don't consider catherine a part of the mighty morphin team sorry that's my opinion i love kimberly i did not like catherine i didn't really grow to kind of like catherine into power and Gizio. And then Power Rangers Turbo, I did not like her in that role because I didn't think it fit her at that point. I think Turbo was, I think Zio was the best season for Catherine. Turbo just did not fit her. I think Turbo fit Cassie more than it fit Catherine. I think we got introduced to Cassie, but we didn't get a little bit more into Cassie until space, which I'm getting so sidetracked, but you know, it is what it is. When it comes to Ranger stuff, I love to talk about it, as you guys can see. So, the main stuff that we I want to talk about, we got the Beast Morphers Zords. We got introduced to them today, or this week. And we found out they'll be released in two tiers. So, in the first tier, you will have the Blue Rangers Beast Wheeler Zord, which can transform into a gorilla. You have the Yellow Rangers um, Chopper Zord, which can transform into a Jack Rabbit. And then you have the Silver Rangers Beast Jetzor, which transforms into a Scarab. Now, Hasbro is doing a little different than what a lot of us who grew up with Power Rangers are used to. 
Because I know a lot of us who grew up with Power Rangers, you know, like I said, I have the Rescue Megazord, the Astro Megazord, the um, Galaxy Megazord, the Rescue Megazord, the Max Solar Zord, the Omega Megazord, you know, I have all those Zords, and all those components came into one. Well, what Hasbro was doing with the with that is they will all be individually released, and they're all gonna be released in the fall, which I think that kind that's kind of sad because you know we're getting a show soon, but we won't have our Megazords, and we actually won't even have our toys until you know later in the spring, which is kind of a bummer. But I'm so happy that we're getting a show soon. So you know the um, first tier Zords. Those Zords will be $24.99. So if you do all three of them, you're looking at a total of $74.97. So then in the second tier, these will be a little bit more intricate. So it's going to be the Red Rangers uh, Zord, his Beast Racer Zord. And these, the next, two, the ones in the tier two, they can transform into two different things. So the Red Rangers, his um, will transform into a cheetah and into a robot. And then we have the Gold Ranger Zord, and it can transform into a Mantis and a construction vehicle. And, you know, these two items will retail at a price of $29.99. So, you know, you're going to get $59.98. So, all together, before, with, before taxes and, you know, either shipping or handling, you're looking at about $135. And then, like I said, you got taxes, or if you do shipping, or if you get it from eBay or whoever, you got shipping and handling. And they will all be released in the fall. So what they'll do is they'll all combine to be either the Beast X Megazord or the Beast X Ultra Zord, which I talked about that last week. So, you know, like I said, they come out in the fall. So you're looking at about 100 and probably $150. So if you're looking forward to getting them, I would suggest saving your money now to buy them individually. God, that's going to suck. But Hasbro, please just take my money. Like, take it. Why? Why not? Cause I'm definitely getting those Zords, like without a doubt, getting them, I don't care. So we're gonna move over to the main attraction, the main thing that I am so excited to talk about this week, like, oh my God, so stick with me. All right, you guys, so I was sitting at work today, I got on Twitter, something just told me to get on Twitter. I got on Twitter, I looked at because I knew I'm like okay tomorrow is going to be the uh, New York um, toy fair toy fair I'm like so I'm pretty sure we're gonna have some news today so I logged into Twitter I clicked on because I you know when I do my videos I tag you know I put a hashtag and I knew in one of my videos I had hashtag Beast Morphers so I clicked on the Beast Morphers hashtag and lo and behold when I clicked on the Beast Morphers hashtag it had the premiere had um the premiere date so we finally finally have a premiere day for power Rangers beast morph it, it is two weeks away it will be on on saturday march 2nd 2019 yes like i'm so excited for beast morph it's like eh, ah like it's a long time coming and i'm so excited about it now there is a little difference with this season so we don't have our same um you know 12 o'clock 11 o'clock since you know you know the 11 o'clock 12 o'clock um time airing we're now going to the eight o'clock i'm guessing it's gonna be eight seven o'clock so in texas where i'm at because in texas um on saturdays power rangers comes on at 11 a.m so i'm guessing i'm gonna have to get up at 7 a.m in the morning which i'm cool with that like i'm fine with that that's cool i get to start i, I you know i can i can cook breakfast and get ready for power rangers and you know watch it record my video have it up and had you know have the rest of my day to myself so i'm kind of excited about that thoroughly excited about that and we also know what the name the name of the first episode is going to be it's going to be titled beast unleashed so i'm cool with that and we also found a little bit of information about um the red ranger Devin daniels so there's a character in there his name is mayor daniels which is safe to assume that Mayor Daniels is going to be Devin's father. So we have a lot of daddy stuff with the last few seasons. You know, um, RPM, Scott, and um, Colonel Truman. I hope, it's, I hope it's kind of a dynamic of Scott and, like, Scott and Colonel Truman. I can deal with that as opposed to, you know, Tyler Navarro with his dad missing. 
And then we finally found him. He was an Aqua Ranger, and we only saw him a, a, a small amount of time. Or Dane or Mr. Romero, who came in as a Red Ranger, and that was it. We didn't really see him anymore until the finale. <laughs> like what? And who else had a who else had daddy issues in the last few years? Um, Jaden's dad was dead, and. Troy, that robot didn't even have a dad that we know of. But, you know, that was it for this week um, with Power Rangers news. Like I said, tomorrow is a toy fair. If there's more information that comes out, I will be back on camera with more Ranger talk. So until then, you guys, see you later.